yeah hi all so in this video we will see how to display the dynamic data in the form of cards in the card layout like you might have seen several type of cards or several type of card layout where you display the data in form of cards like this or this or this or this so let's quickly uh, try to build something like this in trap code okay so i've created a collection called person and it has four fields called name of the person which is a text field description which is a large text image of the person which is a profile image or joining date and i have created some dummy data so i have in the database four person person one two three four their images joining date and description so let's go and display the data in the form of cards so what i'll do i'll go to my home page and drop a data group Okay, so currently the home page is blank. So let's go and drop a data group. So in the data group, we'll, we'll bind the collection, person and all items. So let's display all the items. So as of now, this is the default card which comes with data group, but you can always change it uh, as you need, right? So let's, let's first quickly take a look how the data looks like in these default cards. I'll just bind all the fields with the collection fields. Okay. So I'll say bring my data from person and display the person uh, name. Okay. Here maybe display the person description and person joining date. Okay. Let's get, give some background image to this card so that we know how it is looking. In the decorations, we'll give a background color, something like this. We have data group, column, card body, everything. So let's go and see how this looks like. So here you can see four card. There is no gap. So let's go and add some margin so that we can see the difference. Okay. So I'll go back to my column and just let's add some margin to the bottom. Okay. Margin top is a 5 pixel, margin bottom 5 pixel. Okay, let's go and reload. So now you can see the data is coming in the form of cards. But these are not very nice looking cards, right? These are very basic stuff. So we, we have several ready-made cards which you can use as it is in the application. So let's go and experiment with that. Okay, so I'll go here. And if you can see all these cards are coming from column, right? So let's go and drop some another card. So we have uh, some pre-built cards in the card section or there are some pre-designed cards in the pre-built layout section. So we'll try both. Okay. So first of all, let's go and drop some cards. Okay. So I'll go my advanced settings. I'll go to my advanced components and choose this card. So let's go and drop this card. Here, if you can see, we have like a couple of pre-designed cards, whichever you want to use. So let's say I want to display the data in form of this. Okay. So I'll just click it. It's here. It's quite big in size because it is taking the full width of the page. So let's, let's change the column setting to only, uh, let's say we want to display six cards in a row, right? So I'll go and change the column setting. We'll, I'll delete the old card okay, and change the column setting. So here, instead of taking the full width, now I want my card to take one sixth of the page, right? So in the grid layout, we divide the page into 12 vertical sections. So I'll say on a smaller screen, that is fine. But on a bigger screen, take two by 12th of the page, two by 12 and two by 12. This is fine. Now let's go and uh, bind the dynamic data. So I want my image to co come from the collection, which is the person collection. So I'll choose image. This is fine. Now I want to display the uh, name of the person. So I'll choose name. Similarly, it's a description. Description. Now let's go and see how this looks like. So I'll click the preview. 
So here I can see the data is coming in the form of cards which we have chosen. Okay, so the photo, person and all these things. Now let's go and use some more nice looking card. Okay, so I'll remove this column and let's go and try another card. So I'll go to my cards and this time let's drop something else. Uh, maybe this one. So here is the card. Let's see how many columns it is taking. Since we want to use the responsive layout, layout so I drop a column. Okay, so I'll go to my layout and drop a column. I'll say on a, all the screen, take half of the page, right? So 6 by 12, 6 by 12. 6 by 12, 6 by 12, and 6 by 12. Okay, so basically two cards in a row. So let's go and move these cards inside the column. This is it. Now let's bind the dynamic data. So here let's see, we want to display the name of the person. So I'll go to the settings and display the name, which is fine. Let's display the description. This is good. And let's display this dynamic image from the database collection. So I'll go to the collection and say choose image. This is it. Okay. And let's give some uh, default height width to the image. So let's say I say the image height should be maximum. Uh, the image height should be let's say 150 pixel. Okay. That's all. So let's go and see how this looks like. Click the preview. Now you can see the data is coming in the form of cards, which is a two column layout, right? So two cards in a row. Let's go and use some uh, pre-designed cards, which we have in the pre-built layouts. So I'll go to back to my builder, and delete this. Okay. Now let's go to the pre-built layouts, and scroll down to cards. So here I can see some of the nice looking cards. So let's say I want to display my data in form of these cards. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll just go and drop it inside the container, inside the column. Okay. This is it. I don't need uh, so many because uh, my data group will be repeating those cards. So I'll just use one and repeat it again and again. Okay. So I'll just delete the extra cards. Move my column in the data group. I'll remove all the extra things which are not needed. So now this is done. Let's replace the content. So let's say I want to display the name of the person from the database. So I'll choose name. Okay. And uh, let's display this image with a dynamic image. So I'll say none and then image of the person. This is fine. And let's display the description. This is it. I don't need all these things, so I'll just remove it. Okay. And let's display this image also with a person image. So I'll click the image settings and then choose image. Okay, let's go and see how this looks like. Now you can see it has actually uh, generated the four cards for me. It is not exactly looking how it was because we have not changed the settings. So let's go and uh, give some settings. So let's say the image, I want the height to be maximum, let's say 75 pixel. Okay, this is good. This image, let's say height to be maximum of 150 pixel. Okay, and uh, let's give some border okay so i'll go to the border and say border top one pixel solid color gray bottom one pixel solid color gray we choose the same setting for all the borders Okay, let's go and uh, preview the page again. 
so here if you see the data is coming in a well designed way so this is how you can design a card layout using drag code hope this is clear now thank you for watching we'll keep making more awesome videos on how to use drag code bye bye